Okay, welcome back to the Football Fitness Blueprint. Uh, by now, you should have had the Football Fitness Scorecard completed and you should also have worked out from yesterday or just gave me an idea of what it is you want to improve from a football fitness aspect. We discussed yesterday how you can look at getting both athletic and your aesthetic goals met through playing football. And now today we're going to look at the difference between what it is you want to improve versus what it is you actually need to improve to get there. We're going to give you a way to do that, to identify it quickly and easily. Uh, and that's just going to make things a little bit easier for you to know where to focus your energy and give you something that you can improve your performance both on the pitch and off the pitch. So all those high performance habits that are foundational for success. So most commonly years ago, and some people still do think of performance this way, is they sort of isolate football and fitness into two separate buckets. So they'll do... They'll see all the football side of things and then they'll have fitness separately and see them as two completely separate things. And I think the job of coaches and people like myself would be to try and integrate these two things together to help uh, players like yourselves as much as possible. Because like I, I showed yesterday, it's very easy to, to get fit and improve your football and then through football also improve your fitness. So here's the football fitness per performance pyramid. I'm not going to overcomplicate this. I just want to show you how you can look at something like this and identify where you currently are and what it is you need to improve to get where you want to where you want to get to. So most players want to improve speed and power. That tends to be the attribute they want to have on the pitch. So obviously you can see that white triangle on the outside, that's it, the football element. That's always going to be the bread and butter of your performance. And the inside's the physical side of things. And that's where I, ideally I'll be able to help you out. So if you want to improve your speed and power, it's important that you've got a solid strength base. So that yellow section has to be good because strength is a base that you require for speed and power. Unless you're genetically gifted, you're going to need a solid strength base to ensure you can put force into the floor to be explosive and use that on the pitch. Of course, conditioning a critical part of your performance on the football pitch last in 90 minutes but that means multiple things maybe like being able to play 90 minutes week in week out all season long so that should be fundamental and in place before the strength and power is really really focused on otherwise you won't be playing much football at all and then we look at body composition that's a block below that and why that's important is well if you if you're someone who's carrying extra body fat or perhaps you need to add some muscle mass, then your conditioning is always going to be infected. So is your strength and so is your, so is your speed and power. This doesn't mean it's going to be ne negatively impacted. All it always means is you just aren't going to be able to perform at your best. If you're carrying extra body fat, your conditioning is going to be impacted. Okay, Your speed and power is going to be impacted. However, if we do get you leaner, or for instance we add more muscle mass and there's more uh, muscle there to apply force, then naturally you're going to take less energy each stride you take, you're going to be stronger and you're going to be more explosive because again you're lighter or you've got more muscle. And then before that is the foundational side of things where a lot of people neglect but this is your bread and butter and the simplest way to look at that is if you've ever tried to play football after a big horrible, uh, horrible unhealthy meal or you've done it on a hangover or you came off a long flight with no sleep it's really, really hard to be at your best. So this is your bread and butter and getting this in place will naturally improve your body composition. It will make you have more energy for your conditioning. You'll feel stronger, feel faster, etc. on the pitch. So you have to look at where do you, if you want to improve your speed and power, then you have to see, do you need to improve anything prior to that? And if you do, what section is it? Because that's where your training should be focused right now. And it doesn't mean you don't, you don't focus on speed and power. It just means it's not your main focus. So how big is your performance pyramid? If you're young and just starting out, you might be on the far left. And if you're on the far right, then brilliant. Uh, you just need to keep trying to grow that. So building your pyramid, keep it simple. Assess, monitor, keep yourself honest. Be honest what you need to improve. Stay consistent. Get some good programming. Do the simple things well. Get someone to keep you accountable and have high standards. So today's task is just write down what you need to improve versus what you want to improve. It might be the same as yesterday. But if not, I'd love to hear what the difference is.